gosh, what an experience. This is amazing. That, ah, oh, it was so good. Now, I don't know what we're gonna do, but I'm sure it won't be as good as that. <laughs> Today is our first day in Latvia. We're staying about 15 minutes outside of the city of Riga and we're about to try to figure out how to take the local bus into the city center. We're getting a little late. There's a car. Oops. Sorry. We're starting a little later than we had hoped because we slept right through our alarms <laughs> this morning and didn't get up until 11. But to be fair, that is eight Iceland time. So just a little jet lagged. Off a to week. a late start, but we're gonna make the most of the day. The bus ride into the city was super easy and pretty cheap, only two euros per person. Now, first things first, we are finding some food because it's two o'clock and we haven't had lunch yet. I've read about this fast food dumpling place in the middle of the city and it's supposed to be really cheap and you just pay by how much your bowl weighs. So that's where we're heading now. Found the dumplings place. I'm feeling pretty good about it because nothing is in English and nothing is more than 250 euros. So we walk in, nothing is in English. There's a line of food with bowls. So we grabbed a bowl and got pretty much one of everything. And my bowl weighed about a half a kilogram. Nate's was like 0.4. And all this together was only seven euros, which is just crazy, especially coming from Iceland. So I got some fried, cheese dumplings and then every other kind of dumpling you can think of with some sour creamy looking stuff on top some salsa looking stuff on top it looks pretty good you really can't go wrong with fried cheese but that is so good all right i'm gonna try a dumpling i can't remember what any of them were i think this might be a veggie one that's delicious. I think we found a gym. I can't say, oh my gosh, those are the best dumplings I've ever had, but they were decent, especially with the toppings on top, and <laughs> super cheap. So I definitely recommend that place. It was a great way to start our day, and it was really quick. We got a lot to do today. That is the Freedom Monument that's under construction, and it was built. What was it built for? Um, for the soldiers killed in action during the Latvian War of 1918 to 1920. So there you go. It's one of the top things to see on TripAdvisor. Can't see it. <laughs> now we are heading to the KGB house because one of our viewers highly recommended it to us. To be completely honest, I'm pretty ignorant about the KGB. From what I understand, it's like a secret Soviet police force. I think it was a secret Soviet police force. And now this building that we're going to was like their headquarters here in Riga and they've turned it into a museum. And it sounds super cool and like a really good opportunity to learn something that I know nothing about. coffee shops everywhere here and it's raining so that seems like a really good way to kill some time this is huge I ordered a giant caramel macchiato for 270 Now we're going back over to the, sorry. <laughs> the KGB now. <laughs> Our tour just started. I think this is gonna be awesome. This guy's lived here his whole life. He said he used to go to school. His school was close to the KGB house, but he would take a different road so he didn't have to walk by this place. This is crazy. Old and spooky. He also told us that people in his generation still won't come here because they're still scared of it. 
This door was closed for KGB guys too. This elevator was only for prisoners. was the best museum that we had ever been in and we were standing outside trying to like figure out how we were going to like sum up this experience then our tour guide who is shutting down the museum comes out and he's like do you want to come see some stuff that nobody else gets to see and we were like Duh. yes please oh, this is crazy. Yeah. Uh -huh. It was right here. Wow. It was right here. And uh, yeah, yeah. You see, it's now a uh, transition yeah. system. Yeah. yeah. There was one more cell. Of course, it's not open wow. today. Yeah. And he took us like down in the basement. The real basement where no tourists. None of it's go. been it's redone. Wow. It was real, very, very bad. Of course, it's not open for tourists. In the middle of the 50s, right here, was built some nuclear bunker because it was a Cold War time. Mm -hmm. The Soviets waited a nuclear war for the United States. It's such a stupid idea. They would... And here was a built thousands and thousands of nuclear bunkers in the same building, too. Yeah, you see this door. Some secret tunnel over here. Secret tunnels. Right. What? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was built especially for KGB guys. And you see, secret tunnel is right here. Wow. I just go inside and <laughs> it's sticking with this. Uh, Neighbor's apartment building. That is very, very crazy. small. It's crazy, right? Because it's Soviet Union. <laughs> uh, have some electrical. Uh, so right here, it's a generator. All is original. Because you see, yeah. Just number, owner's number, and then three names. KG video. He took us upstairs to the offices. Maybe hundred years, nobody come here. Look at this wallpaper. Secret spy is right here. No. Yeah. Of course, it's, it's empty. Showed us where like the big boss of the KGB worked. So the, and it's all just empty. Yeah, so the museum's like a tiny segment of that huge building that was the KGB building. Uh, yeah. 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 He was awesome. He had lived in Chicago for a time and apparently was very partial to people from the United States and was just so nice to take us back so in nice. there and show us the stuff. Like, I was going to rave about the museum before we even got the second secret tour. But now, like, you, you just have to go. If you come to Riga, go to the KGB house because it was probably the 
best museum I've ever been to. I mean, it that, was like yeah. horrifying stuff happened, but they just haven't touched anything. Our guide had been arrested by the KGB twice. So like, and he knew. He lived it. He was yeah. passionate about Latvia and still loves Latvia. Like it was so cool to see him get to give us the tour. Also, this memory card is almost full. We are a 20 minute bus ride away from our place, so we can't get another one. So the rest of the day is gonna be very brief. I am so mad at myself. I did not know how great this city would be and I did not book enough time here. It's beautiful, it's cheap, and there seems like a lot of stuff to explore. We didn't get to explore like the main central market like I wanted to because it closed. It's breezy. Oh, such a <laughs> bummer.